Hi guys, it's Varine here. I hope you are doing great today. I have something in the Monarch Garden that I want to share with you and check it out. I have an area in the East Garden that has an entrance going through the South Garden back to the west and back all the way to the north, which is basically the backyard. So I have asked my husband to build me an arbor just going across that walkway. So I wanted to get some vines to go across. And so this is what I decided to do. We have a honeysuckle plant, beautiful, red orange blooms and we all know that the um, hummingbirds love honeysuckle so what i wanted to do is get some baby plants to go climb and just create that feature coming through that entrance way and so about a month ago i decided to put some branches in the soil to see if they would grow but after a couple of weeks of not seeing any new growth on the plants mm, i got a bit disappointed so i pulled i think about two or three of them and somehow i left one in the soil and guess what happened i'll show you what happened I came back and it was growing so it had actually started rooting and I got new growth but that was after about three weeks or a little more than three weeks so now I have decided to put some more branches in soil so they can start rooting and growing what I am doing is using a mixture of three different soils and putting potting soils together or I have already put potting soil, black earth and some cow manure and so I have already put in three little branches but there are a few things for you guys to know when you are trying to propagate your honeysuckle the first one you gotta pack your patience because i wasn't patient enough and so if i was patient enough i would have three little plants growing now but i wasn't patient enough so i didn't wait long enough the next thing is when you're cutting the branches to um propagate your honeysuckle make sure you cut more mature branches that are hard right so you wouldn't want to cut something that looks like this you would want to cut something that's pretty firm the next thing is when you snip your little branch make sure that you have little what i'm going to call joints these little areas here this is where the new growth will come from so make sure you have a few of those on your little branch now i've noticed that the root doesn't necessarily grow from where the branch is like there is one right here but then there are more roots coming up down here and there are known joints there however i would suggest that you get um a couple um joints down below the soil also just to make sure that your honeysuckle grows right and make sure you get a deep enough pot so you can stick your branch down nicely into the soil now i am going to see the difference with this soil look at this this is what it started growing in and check this out this it's so much different so i am going to switch the one that has started growing over to the better soil 
And I'm going to make sure I make a deep enough hole that I'm going to stick it all the way down. Don't want to disturb that root that has started growing there. And then this one I'm also going to stick in the soil. And then we're going to have to make sure we wet the soil thoroughly and keep the soil moist make sure too that your pot has holes at the bottom for drainage so now that i have them in the pot i'm gonna go ahead and water them I'm also going to make sure I put it back in a sunny location because I had it in a sunny location previously. So make sure you put your um, little babies that you're trying to grow in a sunny location. I'll just take them over here where I had them before. So it was sitting right here on the ledge of my planter and I'll just leave it to do its thing. You will know if your babies are growing roots because you'll start seeing new growth. If you see your little branch get brown, don't worry, don't pull it, just wait, patiently wait because you could still get some baby honeysuckle by the way guys if you want to learn how to propagate your animals plants check the channel i have a video that will tell you exactly how to do it thank you so much for watching the video thank you for your support thanks so much for subscribing i think the channel is at about 896 subscribers right now and so i appreciate it immensely i feel blessed to have you guys watch my video i learn from you and you will learn from me liking all the questions and the comments and if you are watching or have watched this video and you have not subscribed as yet please consider subscribing and remember to hit that notification bell icon so you can be notified of new videos not only about gardening but about design, decor, and sewing, and a little cooking too. It's home and garden, right? Thanks again so much. You take care now, and I'll see you in the next video.